Welcome to Bluecoat's computer-based training. This first steps video tutorial describes how to deploy the Proxy SG in explicit proxy mode. To set up your network for an explicit proxy, configure the SSL proxy service if required, and then select one or more methods to deploy proxy settings to the users in your network. First, configure the explicit HTTP services to intercept. Next, make sure that clients can access the internet only by going through the Proxy SG. Configure the firewall to restrict outbound access to ports 80, 443, and 21 to the appliance's IP address. Refer to your firewall documentation if you require more information. Finally, determine which method to use to set up the explicit proxy. One method is to configure each client browser with the proxy server IP address and port number. This might be appropriate if your network is not too complex or the number of client devices is not very high. Another method is to use a proxy auto configuration or PAC file to define how the browser chooses a proxy server. You might select this method if your network has many devices or is complex. With this method all devices in your network are subject to the same policies and proxy configuration. You might also choose to configure the appliance to automatically detect explicit proxy settings. You might choose this method if you want to avoid complex manual configuration. For explicit proxy deployments, client browsers direct all traffic to the appliance on the same port, typically 80 or 8080. When explicit traffic is intercepted, the appliance uses an advanced protocol detection method to identify the type of traffic, HTTP, HTTPS, RTMP, and so on, and handles it according to the standards for that traffic. To configure explicit proxy services, in the Management Console, select Configuration, Services, Proxy Services. Under Predefined Service Groups, expand the Standard Group. Locate Explicit HTTP, select it, and click Edit. Enable Detect Protocol. Under Listeners, set the explicit proxy ports, 8080 and or 80, to intercept. Click OK and apply. To set up an explicit proxy using the browser, configure the Proxy SG appliance as the proxy server in each client browser. In a typical setup, you will enter the appliance's IP address and port on which the appliance listens for traffic, by default 8080. As an example, in Microsoft Internet Explorer, open Internet Explorer, select Tools, Internet Options, Connections, LAN Settings. Under Proxy Server, select the option to use a proxy server. In the Address field, enter the Proxy SG IP address host name. In the Port field, enter the port, for example, 8080. Click OK and then OK. Configure Mozilla Firefox by selecting Tools, Options, Advanced, Network, Settings. Configure Google Chrome by selecting Settings, then Show Advanced Settings. Under Network, click Change Proxy Settings, and on the Connections tab, click LAN Settings. Instead of configuring browsers with the proxy server settings, you can specify that browsers download explicit proxy settings from a PAC file. A PAC file is a JavaScript file that tells the browser to either redirect to a proxy server or connect directly to the URL requested. Two PAC files ship with the Proxy SG. A read-only default PAC file, which specifies to use the Proxy SG as the proxy server, and an editable PAC file, which specifies when to use the appliance as the proxy and which ports to use for specific types of requests, as well as when to connect directly to the origin content server. For information on configuring the PAC file, refer to this Wikipedia resource. If you want to create custom PAC settings for your deployment, you can edit the accelerated PAC file. The PAC file is written in JavaScript, so you should be familiar with JavaScript functions before attempting to edit the file. Download the PAC file from the appliance. Open the PAC file in a text editor such as Notepad. Edit the file as appropriate for your deployment. If you are setting up the network for explicit proxy for the first time, it's a good idea to create a relatively simple PAC file for testing. 
An edited pack file looks similar to this. To deploy the pack file, log into the ProxySG command line interface. Enter enable mode. In enable mode, paste the pack file contents copied from the text editor inside the pack file contents brackets. EOF is an end of file marker. Choose one that does not match any string in the pack file itself. The CLI responds OK. If you want all devices in your network to use the same proxy settings, you can configure the proxy SG appliance to allow browsers to auto detect settings. Using Web Proxy Auto Discovery Protocol, or WPAD, allows you to enforce the same settings for all users. Use this method if you want all users' browsers to determine the location of the pack file through DNS. Refer to the First Steps web guide for more details on how to configure the proxy SG to allow browsers to auto detect settings. After you have configured the network for explicit proxy, you should test client connections and verify that they are going through the proxy server explicitly. First, set a deny policy. In the Management Console, select Configuration, Policy, Policy Options. Under Default Proxy Policy, select Deny. Click Apply. Go to various web pages using the browser. You should receive exception pages stating that access is denied due to policy. Now, set an Allow policy. In the Management Console, select Configuration, Policy, Policy Options. Under Default Proxy Policy, select Allow. Click Apply. Now go to various web pages using the browser. You should be able to access the web pages. To verify that connections are being proxied, first go to various web pages using the browser. Then, view active session statistics and verify that they show explicit HTTP connections. You can also view the access log in real time. In the Management Console, select Configuration, Access Logging, General. Select Enable Access Logging and then click Apply. Start the Access Log Tail. Select Statistics, Access Logging, Log Tail and click Start Tail. Now go to various web pages using the browser. To stop the log tail, click Stop Tail. On the Log Tail tab, look for events pertaining to the web pages you visited. Visit the Bluecoat Proxy SG First Steps web guide available at Blue Touch Online to learn more about the most effective ways of deploying and using a Proxy SG appliance to secure your network. For comments or suggestions about this video tutorial, Contact us at training.books at bluecoat.com.